Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Ron Stevenson and Dr. Goog Show. Stevenson and Dr. Goog show today. So today we're going to be we're going to be discussing the colonial pipe that pipeline shutdown and the recent gas shortage. So this issue affected 12 states over the course of a week. The issue has now since been resolved since during the crisis, the federal government sent oil to those states in need and the, you know, everything's been restored. The people that actually hacked the pipeline and shut it down only got five million from their efforts, which I think was a bit of a, a lousy play. They got they attacked a billion dollar, multi-billion dollar industry. They only got five million from it. They could have done better, in my opinion. But anyway, we're going to be exploring people's opinions on it, people's thoughts, and their ideas for a solution and our future for it. So our first guest is Gerald Springsteen. <laughs> Say hi to my co-host, uh, Dr. Goob over there. Dr. Goob. All right. Hey, so we're going to get started real quick. All right. So, Mr. Springsteen, according to Pew Research Center, your generation, right, you're a boomer, you're an old man. They would say, you know, most boomers are more conservative, you would say. And, you know, for this, for the sake of this interview, they would more side with big oil industries. They would prefer oil as, like, the main alternative, the main energy source of America. Would you say you fit in with that stereotype? I'm, yes, I'm a hard conservative. So, you've heard about the recent gas shortages because the Colonial Pipeline shut down. You also heard about um, stuff like the Keystone Pipeline shutting down. You've heard about the gas lines, right? You've heard about all that? I'm paying $5 a gallon. Of course I've heard of it. So, right now, this whole thing is this crisis contained, right? Pipelines back up. The hackers, they got their ransom. You know, all the states are getting the oil now. Everything's, you know, pretty much back except the prices, but that's a different thing. Do you, what do you think we should have done to combat it? What do you think we should do to combat this? More pipelines because they allow for quicker and further transportation of oil and they produce less carbon emissions than oil tankers do by 60 to 70 percent. This information was from right here, by the way. Anyway, so my next question is. Really, really recent into Biden's presidency, day one, one of his executive orders was he was shutting down the creation of the Keystone Pipeline. Do you think that shutdown had, could have had, you know, if that was still open, do you think that would have any effect on the gas shortage that we just had? Yes, it wouldn't. It had more of an impact because the shortage wouldn't have been extreme and it would allow for more transportation of oil in the South. So you're basically saying if we kept this pipeline, it would have had less of an impact because... More oil would have been flowing everywhere, and you know, the gas. We'll, we'll, put, we'll put the maps up right here, okay? Here's the Keystone connect, yeah. connected to the Colonial, whatever, right? Right here. Yep. You know, it's down south. Anyway, next question. What do you think the oil industry should, go, should do going forward? Do you think we should maybe go to alternate energy? Something like solar panels or wind turbines? Or we need to keep supporting big oil and buying gas cars. The new electric cars are much more expensive to make and taxing on the environment due to the lithium mining. So you're saying, you know, with the lithium used in the batteries is also kind of harmful to the environment. Okay, okay. So my last question is, do you think the media did a good job at covering this? How do you think, what do you think they did? Do you think they were trying 
to promote this? Do you think they were trying to cover it up to cover to maybe make up for Biden's slap? What do you what do you think they were doing? How do you think they played out here? The media was too busy covering Biden's ass. They were too focused on the Middle East and the conflicts. Hey Gerald, who is in Paris? Cares about the stupid French. They have a stupid metal tower in their long bread and their stupid hats. They're better than the British, though. Wait! It's dance party. I think, think, other Americans are pretty down too, especially because many are unemployed and paying four dollars a gallon. That kind of crazy. Good idea would be for you to consider a green new deal. Imagine giving millions of Americans well paid jobs while converting over of our. <laughs> industry to other to the I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know yeah that's oh alternative energy yeah don't be afraid of looking like a socialist because you ain't one yeah why do you believe it love doctor who <laughs> See the little pointy thing at the top? Yeah, pull it out. Yeah. Yes. Alright, our next guest coming out is Zoot. person. Today, we're going to be focusing on the oil industry. That's what we're going to be talking about. So according to Pew Research Center, people your age are more liberal. You know, this is the liberal generation, the progressive generation. So you're more keen on alternate energy sources, right? I'm just wondering, I don't want to assume anything. Are you like part of that stereotype? Yes, I, I am more liberal. And yes, I do support alternative energy. So, You've heard about the recent gas crisis, the gas shutdown, gas, sh gas shortage. You've heard about the colonial pipeline being shut down by hackers and the Keystone pipeline being shut down by Biden, correct? One. 
Yes, yes, of course I know about it. I hate oil so much. Of course I have to know about it if I want to hate it. So as of right now, all is well. You know, the gas has been restored. All the 12 states that were affected have gotten their supply back. I mean, the prices are still at $4, but we can't do anything about that at this point. So what do you think we should do to combat something? I mean, I think that we should have switched over to alternative energy, and since we haven't really done so fully, we should do it now. You know, the carbon footprint that's being set by the oil industry and fossil fuels, that's really doing a number on our environment, you know? It's causing the ice caps to melt. If the ice caps continue melting and we don't switch, then you know California and New York, they're gonna be drowning. One. Yeah, that's all the libtards. One. <laughs> <laughs> Those Californians are making my red states purple, man. That's not okay. Wait, I got an important phone call to make. Hello, who am I speaking to right now? Oh, I have the operator, sir. How can I direct your call? Um, so, last time I was forwarded to the comments line. I don't want to go back there. Is there any way that I could speak to someone about a certain issue now? No, sir. You have to request it in writing. Okay. Um, by going on whitehouse.gov or slash contact. Would you like to hear me say it to you? You want to hear about... The group I represent? We don't, we don't take messages here, we're just here for direct readings of that. Do you just want to hear it though, for fun? No, sir. You okay. have a good day. Alright, you too. I guess they don't want us taking action and fixing the oil. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. So, very recent, very early into Biden's presidency, like day one, one of his executive orders was to shut down the Keystone Pipeline. Do you think if he didn't shut it down, it would have had any effect on our gas shortage? Well, okay, um, no, it, it didn't really have any effect on anything. The pipeline went from U.S., from Canada to the U.S., it went straight down to Texas. It didn't really, it wasn't even having any impact on it. The pipe was basically pissing itself. So my next question is then, what do you think we should do with the oil industry going forward? Should we switch the alternate and rely on it even more? What? No, oh, I totally think the oil industry should be cut down, you know? Alternative energy should take its place, you know? The oil industry's had its time, it's already ruined the environment. It's time for alternative energy to step up, you know, lead the industry. I know Zoo Jr. ain't gonna be growing up in a swimming pool in California. Anyway, how do you think the media, what do you think the, of the media's betrayal of this? Do you think they did a good job? Do you think they covered everything? Or do you think they didn't shed enough light on it? What do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I think the news, in, the news media should have been more critical on the oil industry. Should have hit them harder than they, should, they did right now, but... I think that it makes sense that they're covering something else, you know, the Israel of Palestine. A uh, big event, you know, it's going down there. I pro Palestine by the way. One. Thanks thanks for uh, coming on. I think we're basically almost done here. <laughs> what's what's up with this? I don't smell any women here. It looks like it's only cis white males in this room. What's going on? Yeah, I mean this is a comedy show. We can't have any women around. No, 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 no,
This is not better. This is bad. Let me tell you, this is not good. Nothing will fundamentally change. You know what, Joe? This ain't the debate stage anymore. We're not six feet apart. We're right next to each other. We're going to deal with this right now. The boy. You know, my dad always used to say, Joey, you, 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 you don't you, you, care. <laughs> So Jalen, what are your thoughts on the oil industry? Outdated, out of style, going out of, out of the way. Oil for the dorks. It's all about wholesome Elon Chungus, 100 Tesla solar panels. How do you feel about the oil industry? Um, I don't think it's that great. Thumbs down. What are your thoughts on the oil industry? Well, I mean, it's not good for the environment, but at the same time, unfortunately, it is kind of needed, so I understand why it's still around and why a lot of people still you know, depend on it. But if the world would be better if we didn't have it, because there'd be less pollution, less, like, you know, oil problems with the ocean and stuff, but, you know. Chicken, what are your opinions on the oil industry? Hello? Could you provide some input? Okay. Well, I guess that's it for today's episode. We scheduled a band, but they didn't answer. I guess they were too scared. I'll just sing this song for you. You farted, girl, you farted, girl. You farted, girl. I don't want to say no names, say no names. But you farted on my new wax chains. And you farted on my eyes.